Honestly, it was uh, friends who were already on the platform, and I had followed Twitch for years through obviously the gaming side and just following people I enjoyed. And it wasn't until I started seeing more of my friends doing the creative stuff on Twitch that kind of convinced me to give it a shot. So honestly, I just kind of was like, all right, let's try it out and see how it goes, and it was amazing. How did I start streaming? That was 2014. Uh, I got to know a few months back that Hearthstone would become you know, a, a main big thing for Blizzard. So I started to recognize that there's a, there's a space where you can make actually money out of you know, gaming and just sharing your passion. So I thought, thought to myself, I'm going to be playing the game anyway. Why shouldn't I just stream and see how it goes? You know? And for the next year, I was just streaming for two people four people, five people, but then I started competing, then I started getting more viewers, and somehow it, you know, it kind of worked. How did I start streaming? I, uh, I found Twitch very randomly through an eSports tournament, and through the front page of Twitch, I found games that I wasn't expecting. I found Mario games next to uh, the big one, like World of Warcraft and League of Legends games, and that very intrigued me. So I got the, uh, I got to play single player games again, but without being alone, because I could share them with my audience. And that was what sparked me starting to stream, really. So I started streaming back in, I believe it was 2009 on Ustream TV, and then I own 3D TV, and then eventually Twitch.tv when own 3D TV went bankrupt. So I've been uh, streaming for quite some time, on and off, and uh, it's just a great pleasure to do so. I love streaming. Um, I started streaming actually because I used to work at GameStop, and my coworker pulled up Dan's gaming on a tablet, and he was like, "You should try this out. You'd be good at it." And I went home that night, and I did it, and fell in love with the whole community aspect of it. Um, well, while I was waiting for my uh, American visa to be processed, I wasn't able to work. And so I found my time being creative and I saw people were doing makeup on Twitch and I was like, I can do that. <laughs> and so I started with like the small makeup collection that I had and like tiny little water-based paints and it just became more and more complicated as I went because it was so much fun to stream and talk to people as I was doing it and sharing what I was passionate about and just showing off like, hey, you like this makeup? I can swatch it for you right now. And it's just like sitting with a bunch of friends doing my makeup and I just continue to do that ever since. I started the channel about three years ago. Um, always had an interest in live streaming. I, I started live streaming back when Twitch became Twitch TV. Actually live streamed before that to when uh, Owned TV was out, if anyone remembers that. And always been interested in gaming. Um, but got to the point where I realized there wasn't that many good educational videos out there about learning to stream. And back then, three years ago, there wasn't very many good tools and the tools that you were using weren't that easy to use. Uh, so I started just by uploading a couple of videos about uh, OBS Studio and um, they blew up in the background and I just kept releasing videos in my spare time while still working a full-time job and eventually uh, got to the point where I was able to quit my job and do this full-time. I started streaming this is a good question. I think I started streaming around Mr. Vandari and World of Warcraft, so I think that was around 2011. But I only streamed really casually to begin with because I was working full time at the time, so I maybe did like one or two streams a week. Um, I would say I've started streaming a lot more seriously in the last three to four years. Um, I started streaming by, honestly, I, w I had just an iMac and I just went for it. Over time, I've grown my whole setup. Like, Elgato have been so kind to me and they provide me with so much. Um, but really, like I just went for it and I just took the bullet. And if I have any regrets, it's that I didn't start streaming sooner because it's, it's such an amazing world and the community is so kind. 